हरि ओम वेलकम टू द प्राणायाम टू सेशन प्राणायाम टू इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस योगिक ब्रीदिंग व्हाट इज योगिक ब्रीदिंग इन द प्राणायाम सेशन वन द प्रीवियस सेशन आई टॉक्ड अबाउट थ्री पार्ट्स एब्डोमेन द डायफ्राम मूवमेंट ऑफ डायफ्राम as you inhale the diaphragm goes down creating more space for lungs to have more air then the chest muscle the rib rib cage and intercostal muscles expand as you inhale to let more air in and the last is the clavicular breathing in the neck the upper lungs expand there yogic breathing is more focus on abdominal breathing than chest say 50 to 60% abdominal 30 to 35 40% your chest and maybe 5 to 10% is in your clavicular region so sit up right in any meditative pose just to check the spine position bend little forward bend little backward bend little to the left and bend little to the right settle down into most comfortable position then roll back your shoulders open the chest relax your shoulders and arms now adjust the neck forward bend back bend to the neck left side bend right side bend and settle down into most comfortable position for the neck now we are all ready so now we are going to inhale focusing more on abdomen and chest now to achieve this maybe we can keep one hand on the abdomen one hand on the chest just to try out just uh, uh, till you get used to it so inhaling slowly now we are going to control the breathing so inhale start expanding the abdomen more expand the chest more inhale fully and then slowly exhale see the chest contract abdomen going in complete it again long inhalation expanding the abdomen expanding the chest and then slowly exhaling the chest is contracting the abdomen is going in continue this practice long deep inhalation abdomen expand chest expands fill in the air as much as you can and then very slowly exhaling the chest is contracting abdomen going in again long deep inhalation the diaphragm is a single muscle when you expand it keep doing the practice when you expand it as much as you can with one breath you are inhaling more so when you use your diaphragm more you are making the breath more efficient so with one breath you are getting more oxygen so number of breaths in a minute is going to be less if you use your abdomen more so breathing is going to be more efficient then when you are using abdominal breath you are actually gently pushing the organs down in the abdomen keep doing the breathing keep doing the breathing and listen to me pushing down the abdominal organs and then pulling them up so it's like compression and stretching the abdominal organs now this improves the health of the abdominal organs which are very crucial and vital and have role in every disease that we we know of has very strong impact on the gut health the movement then also because of this constant movement of diaphragm the vagal nerve vagus nerve is also stimulated affecting the vagal tone causing relaxation to our body again keep doing it long deep inhalation expand the abdomen expand the chest and feel the air till you feel it in the neck region inhale as much as you can more 
and exhale fully. You can feel the neck relaxing, the chest going in, the abdomen going in. Long deep inhalation, abdomen expands, chest expands. Feel it in the neck and exhale, relax. If you're keeping the hands, you can feel the hands moving. When we are stressed, keep doing the practice while listening to me. When you are stressed or anxious or depressed, in all these psychological problems, mental health issues, the abdominal breathing habit is reduced. And we mostly breathe through the chest. So now if we are going to increase the abdominal breathing habit, then it will help in stress management, reducing the anxiety, reducing the depressed, depressed state of mind, and even reducing the anger. So this is a very powerful practice. Now complete the round. Now continue normal breathing. Like it can be done in the sitting position. This also is, go, is easy to do in the Tadagasana or Pond Pose. So we will do few more rounds in the Pond Pose. So release the position and let's come down to the Pond Pose. Again a very comfortable position for breathing as we discussed in the video one. So now rest the knees onto each other. You can keep one hand on the chest, one hand on the abdomen. Exhale fully and start inhaling. Expand the abdomen. Expand the chest. Feel it in the neck. And exhale. Relax your body. Chest is contracting. Abdomen is going down. Again. Exhale. Relax more as you exhale. Inhale fully. Exhale. You can feel your spine relaxing more. Continue. Relax your hips, buttocks. Relax your legs. Relax your shoulders, arms. Relax the whole spine as you exhale. Continue inhalation and exhalation. Keep your eyes closed. The more you relax, the deeper the breathing will be. Observe this little difference, what relaxation can bring. So breathing is bringing relaxation and the relaxation in turn is deepening your breath. So it's a positive cycle. The more is your deep breathing, the more you'll be relaxed. The more you'll be relaxed, the deep the breathing will be. Continue. This is full yogic breathing where you're utilizing more of your abdominal breathing capacity, expanding the chest capacity to the maximum, and partially you're using it in the clavicular region as well. 60% abdomen, 30% chest, and 10% clavicle. The percentage may vary from person to person, your flexibility, age, practice, fitness, all of that. This is our focus. This is what we need to achieve. Keep doing it. Long, deep inhalation. And a long exhalation. And slowly leave the awareness of this breathing. 
continue normal breathing releasing the position slowly bring your arms by side straighten your legs and slowly coming up into sitting position so this is a practice of yogic breathing we did into when the first video it was just observing your natural breath now this is where you have started controlling the breathing to some extent so in next videos we will also see other types of pranayam practices so i hope this yogic breathing will give you more understanding of how to use your abdomen and how to use your chest effectively when you breathe ultimately everything comes down to you increasing your lung capacity there are some studies that say that if you have if your lung capacity is more then you can live longer so lung capacity is very crucial so we're going to stop here hari om